Hello guys, how are you doing? My name is Ligia Alter, I am a postgraduate student here at the Glasgow University and today we're gonna talk a little bit about the societies that you can join when you join Glasgow University. So, let's do it! So, one of the first things I did when I joined the Glasgow University, when I saw that I was accepted, I decided to see which societies they had because I thought being part of a society can make it easier for you to make friends, for you to know people that, ha that have the same interests as you. So I was like, mm, okay, maybe I should research this and see what options they have. And also, I did know that I wanted to be part of a society that had music in it. It could be like musical theater, it could be just music, it could be like, um, I don't know, composing or jamming or whatever it is. But I wanted to meet some people that had this in common with me. Because I come from uh, history, like my history involves a lot of music. So I wanted to be part of something like this at Glasgow University. So the first thing I did, and that I'm gonna show you how to do it, I put, I searched it like on Google and put uh, Societies Glasgow University. So you can search like this, and then you can click on this website, so the university's website, and you have the options of societies for students and for staff. So of course, if you're a student, you're gonna click on the students options, and then they're gonna show you like a hundred, no, it's not like a hundred, but there's a lot of options, like a lot of options, and they come in alphabetical order, so you can um, look for what you want, or you can look for the category, if you want art, if you want music, if you want baking, if you want philosophy, if you want physics, mathematics, or whatever. So this is a really nice thing because they make it really easy for you to understand which options you have. So um, I decided to choose the Sicilian Society, which is this one that I'm gonna show you in the video. And I don't regret, like for a second, I really loved being part of the society. Uh, and I'm gonna share with you a little bit of my experience as part of the Sicilian Society. I know that other students are part of other societies, but I cannot speak for them because I don't know how is how was their experience. So anyways, after you choosing your society, you can just email them or talk to them on Facebook and it's really easy. Everyone's really willing to make you a part of the society. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about my experience at the Sicilian Society. Uh, the Sicilian Society is a musical theater society and they usually have two shows per year. They usually have like one week after the Freshers Week that is like in the beginning of September. So one week after, they rehearse for only like three days and they make a weekend show, which is supposed to be a lighter show and you can improvise more. So you, it's when you get to know people and you get to, you know, um, how can I say, be playful because there's not, too much pressure about getting your lines right because you just rehearse for three days. So th this is the point. The point is making the thing funny, is making the thing like, let's just be ourselves, let's just do our best, let's just have fun. So this is the first show. The second show I think we started doing in October? I think it was around October, so uh, which the second show you start rehearsing in October to present at February or around that time. I emailed them and they told me to come to one of their like initial gatherings and we made a lot of exercises, moved our bodies, sang songs from other musicals and I met a few people and they also started telling us about a little bit of the process to um, try out for the main parts. For the main show, you can be part of the choir. They have always a big choir, like most of the people join the choir because if you're a little bit shy or if you are not sure if you like have the voice to to get a main part, you can still be part of the show um, in the choir or you can still be part of the show just being a dancer 
or you can still be part of the show being in the backstage, working with people in the backstage. So there is a place for everyone that wants to be part of the show. Since I had experience before, I decided to try out for the main parts and they like prepare you for the main parts, they give you everything that you need to memorize and honestly this reminded me so much of the um, of that scene from Peach Perfect. I don't know if you guys saw that movie but <laughs> I love it. I love that part of the movie where they're trying out and singing Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. Um, I don't, my English is... Oh my god, <laughs> one year here and I still have some difficulties, but anyways. And I ended up getting one of the main parts. So the play we did was Cry Baby. Very, very fun, funny and ironic in a kind of way, like it was like an acid comedy. So if you guys haven't seen Cry Baby, I would recommend because the music, the soundtrack is amazing and it's really funny. And I got a part as Dupree, so which is Crybaby's best friend. And I'm not gonna lie, we started rehearsing around like October. It was very, very intense. So we had rehearsals mainly on Thursdays and Sundays. I think it varies from year to year. And they usually ask people what's their free time so they can, you know, schedule the the rehearsals in a time that everyone can be part of but I'm not gonna lie it was pretty intense on Sundays it was usually from noon to 10 at night so uh, 10 p.m. we of course had breaks had lunch breaks um, dinner breaks so it was like it was intense but it was very fun and honestly this experience of being like part of something and making your body move because you're always in constant movement acting and memorizing lines and dancing so I would say that it's definitely something good for you as a student because we spend a lot of time sitting down me I'm doing the master I would stay sitting down I'm actually writing my dissertation now it's like crazy you stay nine hours and you don't even realize in your in your chair writing on the computer so it's really nice to have something that makes you move and makes you know other people and you know have fun so it was really intense but it was a good thing for me back then um, and especially because during winter here in Glasgow here in Scotland it gets a little bit depressing I don't want to scare you guys you don't need to be scared but um, the days usually last I don't know four hours and then everything is dark so it's really nice being part of something that you can see people and talk and you know exchange your thoughts and your worries about being a student and talk about things that you have in common that you like the subject of musical theater um, so I think it's a really like unique society very very fun they are very organized and respectful of where you come from, of your identity, of like who you are. I, I really like this society because you can just be you, you can just do you and it doesn't matter if you have previous experience in theater or not, you can just go and be part of it and people are very very welcoming. So I would definitely recommend if you like something like this and even if you don't like being on stage, as I said, you can do backstage. It is an excellent society. We also have, apart from these two shows, we have like what they call it cabaret. Cabaret? Is it cabaret? But it's like um, a smaller kind of show that actually you can decide what song you want to sing from a musical. Usually you have a theme. So last year the theme was Song, a song that represents you or a song that tells you who you are or something like that and um, I chose to sing Define Gravity, <laughs> of course um, but yeah, we go and sing on Record Factory which is um, a bar that has the Sicilian Society has you know a good connection with this bar so we go there and perform and yeah, it's really really fun I'm gonna... I cannot show footage of the show because of copyrights 
So I what I can show you is the the acknowledgements or like when we say thank you to the audience. So I'm gonna let this video here so you guys can see. Of course, you can go to the Sicilian Society Instagram here or the Facebook page. I will leave it here so you guys can see. It's, yeah, I'm gonna graduate this year as well. So this was my first and last year of Sicilian Society. Um, but I have to say that they really helped me through a lot of things. They, yeah, it was uh, during winter especially. It was really good being part of something like a society that really accepts you for who you are and help you during hard times because winter is harsh. I guess this was my experience. I talked a little bit about it. Of course, it was months of being with these people. So we went through a lot together. Um, and yeah, if you're, if you're wondering if you should join, I would definitely recommend that you do. And you can always chat with them through Instagram, Facebook, or if you come to Glasgow University on Freshers Week, you can go and see them on their stand, you know. And yes, that's it. I hope you guys, regardless of being Sicilian society or any other society, I hope you join, you have time to join another society and make a lot of friends. I'm sure other societies have also excellent programs and events that you can go to and socialize. I, yeah, I really think is a excellent idea being part of the society. Whew, I spoke society so many times in this video. You guys must be sick of this word now. <laughs> so take a break from this video and then go check the societies, okay? And yes, I have um, my personal channel. I'll leave my Insta here so you guys can check. Uh, I have my personal channel on YouTube and I make videos in English as well. I just switched from Portuguese to English so I could, you know, so my friends here could watch as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have to go now because I have to work on my dissertation. And stay safe, take care of yourselves. And I hope you guys enjoy your time here. If you're a new student that's preparing to come to Glasgow, I hope you have a really excellent year. And maybe I'll see you guys soon in another video. Who knows? So it was a pleasure being here with you. Mm -hmm. And see you next time. <laughs>